Today we are revisiting my top 10 PSA graded returns. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm doing a top 10 for my best returns ever. Some of my best cards that I ever graded, we're going all the way back to 2019 for some of them through up to 2022. So there's a lot of crazy ones, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away 20 Battles of Chaos packs. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite return or your favorite return from my channel. I also want to mention, I have sent out another PSA return so that we'll have another PSA video soon. Plus, my bulk service from 2020 is getting close to finishing, so we're going to have a super long video upcoming, which I'm really excited about. Also, don't forget to check out Ruxton34.com for any old school products that I may have listed. And now, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Sometimes, I wake up late. In these situations, it can be hard to find a fast yet healthy meal. This is where Magic Spoon's new limited edition cereal bars come in. Phil, it's time to wake up. You gotta record with Simo. Oh no. What am I gonna eat for breakfast? I barely have any time. Too bad I don't have time to eat this 0 grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, only 4 net grams of carbs in each serving, only 140 calories per serving, keto-free, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb cereal. Fortunately, Magic Spoon just came out with these grain-free cereal bars. They're healthy, and I'll never be late to a recording again. These cereal bars are nutritional like a protein bar, but a hundred times more enjoyable. They come in flavors like cookies and cream, cocoa, and peanut butter. Each bar has 10 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and four net carbs. Mmm, and that's tasty. If you guys want to try some of these for yourself, use code RUXIN5 and get $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that even if you don't enjoy it, they will give you your money back 100% guaranteed. So click the link below and make sure to use code RUXIN5 or magicspoon.com slash RUXIN5 to get $5 off your order when you order cereal bars or cereal. And all you Canadian and British fans, they ship there now as well. Thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring the video. McDonald's packs are one of my favorite sets because it reminds me of back in the day when I pulled up Millennium Shield. Speaking of Millennium Shield, guys, I've been trying to grade a Millennium Shield for forever, like so long, and I just can't get one. It's so annoying. And this one I had just sitting there. I was going to sell it, and I was like, hey, this thing looks pretty good. Why haven't I submitted it? I don't know, because it got a gym mint 10. And if you guys saw me on Instagram post, I completed one of my collecting goals. It was grading one of these. Now the reveal. We have the Beast Skull Dragon. Let's check out the back. We can inspect the card like this. Do we see anything? Those little dots are on the case. I mean, it's just PSA cards just get stuff all over them somehow. I mean, it looks pretty good from here. Check out the front. The centering is pretty good on it. Card looks pretty clean. Let's reveal the gray, guys. Here we go. Jim Minton. Okay. It got it. I was expecting it, but you never know. Sometimes cards that you think are for sure 10s do not come back 10. So now I have this one, and I also have this one that I got from Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, B Skull. Yeah, so uh have two of these now, and this could be the third one if we got a 10 on it, which would be pretty crazy. I don't remember what I thought about this one. Maybe there's some whitening on it. Slightly right there. My thumbs, and I don't really need to cut my fingernails. Oh, yes! No way! Okay, so that slight whitening, I guess. Oh, it, it came off. It was on the case. No! You're kidding me. This is my third one now. I think I may be trading one of them to one of you guys, actually. Ooh, the Bee Skull Dragon. We are starting off hot. It's a little faded, so let's see how they graded the faded. Occasionally with the faded, they don't like to really give them good grades. We're about to find out if they did or not, but this guy was really nice. Let's check him out. I don't remember if we checked it out in the collection or not, but you guys can check that video out. It was insane. Let's see what it got. Good start. This is a good start. This is what? Is this the fourth Bee Skull I've graded? Oh, Guys, an epic Chaos Emperor Dragon Ultimate Rare. One of the coolest cards ever. I got this card out of a lot. Somebody had opened a Duelist Pack Kyber First Edition box and they just opened the cards and then they just sold all of them. They didn't do anything. All they did was open them, pull the cards out, and then they put this in a top loader and a couple other cards and then they posted on eBay for $200. Crazy. So I bought it, obviously. I thought it was, they had zero feedback. So I was like, this is going to be, you know, they're not going to send it or whatever. And they did and it was in great condition. And it got a 10. <laughs> it's crazy. They literally opened the box and then sold it. So I got this and a Ring of Destruction Ultimate Rare that they had pulled. Okay, let's do this one first. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the thing with this one. The centering is not great. If it gets a 9, that will be why. Because the card is really perfect. Look at the foil on this card. I think that there is a strong chance it gets a 9 because of that. However, the rest of the card is incredible. Did they ding it up there? Oh my goodness. What happened to the corners? 
Oh no, there's no way it's getting a 10 with corners like that. We might have even got an 8, let's see. What? 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 Wait a second. Okay, guys. Okay, wait. Wait a second. Look at this. All right, first card. Dark Paladin. Looks pretty clean. Oh my goodness. What a good start. What a start. Oh my. This was one of the cleanest cards, I think. So this is really nice. This card, I think, deserved it. The first edition Jinzo from the Pharaoh Servant Box we opened. This was such an amazing pull, and I thought it had a really good chance at getting a 10. The centering on it was was pretty good, for especially for Pharaoh Servant, and the card was beautiful. Let's see what we got on this thing. Pharaoh Servant first edition Jinzo secret rare gem mint 10. Look at that secret rare gem mint 10. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Ooh. Oh, oh, faded Jinzo, first edition. Wow, centering is actually awesome on that guy. Wow, the centering is great. Wow, that's really good actually. Oh, dare I, dare I hope for a ten? No, this actually got it. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> No! That is crazy. Not because I don't think it deserves the 10, but I mean, faded. Usually they're tough on the faded. The centering is actually really good for Pharaoh's Servant. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Guys, the one and only Cyber Dark Dragon. If you guys remember, if you guys are a very, very long time subscriber, I pulled this one when I had like 200 or 300 subs. I then graded it with my first ever PSA submission and it got a 9, and I left it sealed as a nine for a year. Then I decided, you know what? That thing deserved a 10, I'm cracking it. I cracked it, sent it back in. As you can see, it does have this foil shift. So I'm thinking maybe that was part of the reason it got a nine before, because if they're thinking maybe there was something wrong with this card, but really it's just foil shift. So it shouldn't count. The front of this card is immaculate. The centering is really good on it. And let's see the back. I think the back has a absolutely tiny blemish. Slight line from the ultimate rare. It's like this thing has a chance. And you cracked it. It regraded a 10. Yes. One of my favorite cards ever. One of my, definitely one of my favorite pulls on the channel. And it's back as a 10. Oh, here we go. The last elemental hero, elemental hero Tempest. This dude is massive. Super expensive raw card. I spent big money on it. Hopefully you get a gem on this. It was clean. There's more stuff in there from PSA, but they didn't kill me on the residue this time. And this dude gemmed. And look at that, such an awesome, such an awesome card to get in 10. So I'm extremely excited. Morphing Jar, Tournament Pack 2, one of the most iconic cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. This thing was used in all kinds of decks back in the day. I was looking at the card, like this card is beautiful. It has a small factory line about this long across the front and it has a little bit of back scratching and a tiny bit of edge wear up here. Probably a nine with how big the card is, but you never know, it, it could get a gem. I think it was Monday or Tuesday, I got the grade and I saw it and it was a gym mint 10 morphing jar gym mint 10 there's 21 of these in the world 21 gym mint 10 morphing jars okay finally we have guy the dragon champion can we get a 10 on this huge secret rare I mean this card was nice this card was nice this would be big I used to have a nine in this and I sold it to get the blue ass box so I kind of regret that but let's see Jim Mint, Gaia the Dragon Champion. That is a huge, huge card. I don't even own this one. I don't own it at all. So a 10 is absolutely massive. That is big time. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have the one and only Black Rose. Let's check the back first of all. Looks like it is pretty decent. There's a couple speckles. I think those are just on the sleeve. So I think we're okay there. All right, back looks pretty good. Let's check out the corners. The front, check this out guys. Centering's pretty good on the front. Foil, absolutely beautiful. I mean, just a beauty on the foil. It looks super good. Let's check out the corners. There's no telling what the 10s are worth. I think the 9s are around like four or $5,000. So 9's still really good. 10s are insane. They're super high. Are you guys ready? I'm a little bit scared. I'm scared to look at this thing. Whew. Like button for luck, guys. Here we go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the G 
Jimmington. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow.